Welcome back to Commander's Declassified Podcast. I'm your host tonight, Brian. Guys, we have a big, big show tonight. Uh, Ellie, how are you, man? I'm doing terrific. Uh, you know, we got some some good conversation to have with a future NFL star tonight, uh, wow. specifically Thomas and Coom on the podcast tonight. What's up, brother? How you doing? I'm doing pretty good, man. How you guys doing? Doing great. Doing great. Um, look, it's, you know, we talk to draft prospects every year, especially ones that uh, are of the mold of what the commanders tend to look for. Um, yeah. And you put that profile tonight and um, we're going to say what's up to Eric too, but I was just sort of noticing, like looking through your bio, your profile and everything like that, just how much you're a Ron Rivera type of guy, you know? <laughs> so I want to get into that tonight. Not yet. I want to spoil it, Brian. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep going. I'll come back to that. <laughs> Eric, how are you, man? How are you? Everybody always forgets I'm here. It's, <laughs> it's a normal thing. It, it really is. But now I'm doing all right. I'm, never, I'm, I'm very happy to have you here as well, Thomas. Thanks yeah, for joining sure. us. And not to bury the lead, Thomas Income, defensive end, Central Michigan University is here tonight with us. Uh, Thomas, thank you. Uh, we appreciate you uh, coming. How are you, man? I'm doing pretty good, man. I appreciate you for having me. You know? No, thank you. Uh, thank you for giving us some time. I'll uh, I'll kind of get uh, us started here. Um, you know, Draft time. I know it's a crazy time for you guys. Uh, you're you're training. You're visiting teams. You're doing these things. Can you kind of tell us, like, what what's this process been from like the end of your senior season um, till now? Like, what what happens? Like, you got to pick an agent. You got to start training. Like, I know sometimes guys they go to they go to Florida. They go to California to train. That kind of thing. Like, can you kind of give us some of the background of like what happens like after your season end and uh, you start this process? Oh, yeah. Um, it's been fun, but also it's been crazy, you know, because everything is getting thrown at you at once. And so you just got to make the right decision and, you know, you know, go everywhere that, you know, fits you, especially with the agent part. Pick a guy that, you know, you you have a good uh, relationship and that you feel like it's going to, you know, represent you pretty good of the field. And, you know, coming on the field, you just got to do what you keep uh, you've been doing to get to the process where you're at now. So you just, you know, keep your head on and keep working. And that's how I carry myself through this process. And it's been going pretty good so far. So. I can't really complain about nothing. I uh, love love to hear that. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, Eric. you had a you had a really big year this year. Um, where, what's your key to what was your key to success this year? What what, what do you attribute your or your attribute rather your success to this year? Um, mm -hmm. Just overall at Central Michigan, uh, coaching staff, everything like that. Just tell us kind of what went in the last season for you. Got you, man. Uh, coming of the um, you know the season I had twenty twenty one. You know, I just took it upon myself to just invest more time in my craft, man. Just, you know, the hardest part is just sitting back and watching your own film and being, you know, critical of yourself, being hard on yourself. I was like, I'm lacking on this, I'm lacking on that. How about I spend so, the whole summer just perfecting, you know, those little details like that? So I came back home to Atlanta and I went to Chuck Smith. You know, if you a, a lot yeah. of people are familiar with Chuck Smith, so I went to Chuck Smith oh, for yeah. the whole summer and, you know, just working on my craft, you know, perfecting the pass rush, perfecting the run and, you know, having uh, good hand usage and just lifting, you know, working out and, Cause I know, you know, the team's gonna count on me now. I'm, I'm counting on myself to be better than, than I was the season before. So I just invested my time in and just kept working on the little details I was lacking. Hey, um, you said Atlanta, so now I gotta ask you, what are you listening to when you're training? Um, I'm kind of everywhere, you know. Yeah. I'm more locked in. I just, I, Emilia can be playing somewhere, but I'm singing my own lyrics in my head. It's <laughs> like. I'm just all, all over the place, man. I'm locked in. Just I'm I'm working. The music oh. might be there, but I'm listening to my own lyrics on my head. Okay, okay. You got you got some music out on YouTube too. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Um, hey, uh, I mentioned like you're you're the the quintessential Ron Rivera type of guy. Your hustle, mm -hmm. your aggressiveness, high motor, and most importantly, you create turnovers or you recover, you know, fumbles and things like that, which is yeah. something that this team has not, this team being the commanders, has not figured out how to do at a high level yet. And that's one of the things that holds this defense that has a lot of potential yeah. back. Where does that motor come from? And where does that ability to create fumbles and turnovers come from? Was that just something you always had? Or did you have to work at that? Or Oh, no, that's something I was like, had in me, you know, from a kid. I was being, you know, I, I, I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to chase the ball. I want to see how fast I can, I can move. You know what I'm saying? I want to see yeah. how fast I can track this guy down and make a tackle. It's just always like, Competing against my own self, you know, watch the film. Okay, well, you, you Thomas, you slow on this play. Next play, can you go faster? Stuff like that. Just yeah. competing on my own self and 
create a turnover. I used to be an opposite guy. I wanted to rock, man. I want to rock the ball. I want the ball in my hand. You know what I'm saying? Defense, defense scoring is more fun than offense scoring, I'll tell you that. Yeah. You know, it's, it's always hard to come by. So I always want to rock in my hand just to make something happy, you know, give the offense a good field position to score, or we can score on defense. That's how I always, you know, bottom myself as. Yeah, it seems like guys either have that ability or they don't. And I don't know why that is, but there are just some guys, and you're yeah, one you of them. Got, you just got to have it in you, man. It's, yeah, you got that dog in you. <laughs> it's not something you – it's coachable. It's not coachable. You just got to have it in you. Either you do or you don't. Exactly, exactly. Um, One more question for you, man. MJ or LeBron? Oh, man. I say LeBron. No, nah, all right. I, I say LeBron. Just <laughs> a simple fact. You, you got to look, man. Everything really changed. MJ Thomas – the game is different from what LeBron is playing now. You know what I'm saying? So you, you got to give credit when it's due. As of now, it's LeBron. Back right. in the day, it's definitely MJ. I respect I respect it. All right. Yeah, they call traveling in the 90s. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> the game changed. You know? we, get, we can talk about that. We can say, have a whole – yeah, the game has changed, right? There are no longer guys specifically employed by the team to just beat the crap out of whoever comes in the lane. They don't have to do that anymore. No. There's no defense now. <laughs> no, not at all. So, hey – um. um Oh, go ahead, Brian. Oh, uh, yeah. No, th- sorry. Thank you. Uh, yeah. So you you were saying that mindset. I I love to hear that. Like, can you kind of tell us like some of your preparation for you know your games? Are you you know obviously you you've got practice, but are you big into film study? I'm I'm for me. I know you know like hey guys who you know do the film study. You know I, I I'm always partial to those guys. I heard you mention you know uh, a little bit about uh, you know kind of film study. Is that something big in your preparation, or is it kind of natural or? Oh, yeah, yeah. I do a lot of film study, man. It's always to be, you know, prepared to go into the battlefield. You know what, you know, coming against you, you know what you, uh, kind of technique you're going to use to attack your opponent. So I'm always like, they're going to watch a film. You know, I'm, I'm watching the center, I'm watching the guard, I'm watching the tackle. You know, just li- little details like that to have a better get off. You know, that's one, that's how you got to start with it, the better get off anyway. So when you watch a film, you know, when the stands come, he's giving you this. When the stands come, he's giving you that. So how about you attack him with what you've been practicing on for the whole week and, what you're seeing on film. So watching film is a big part, like going to the, uh, into the game. No, I'd love to hear that. Have your enemy defeated by uh, during the week of practice, and then when you Definitely. get to the game, it's easy. It's, it's easy. easy at that point. Makes that, you play faster, too. You know, less things. That's, that's awesome. That's awesome. I'm oh, sorry, Eric. You can go. Yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna ask something, just a more, little more personal. Did you growing up? You, you're you're a Georgia kid. Did you were you a Falcons guy, or were you? Uh, did you have a favorite team growing up? Are you allowed oh, so to say yeah, that now? Uh, well, no, I, I was born and raised in Ghana. You know, I was born and raised in West Africa. So when I moved, yeah, I was I was a soccer player. So when I started playing defense, or when I started playing football, period, I was a kicker. You know, all I do was just kick the ball and just get up the field. That's my job. So when I really started getting involved, you know, uh, I fell in love. When I fell in love with uh, defense, Demarcus Ware was, was my favorite player. You know, because he he was a maniac on the field. So I was more leaning to the Cowboy fan, even though I was a uh, in Atlanta. You know, it, I was still rooting for Atlanta, but just me being DeMarcus Ware fan, I was, I was a Cowboy fan. That's how it was. You're on the wrong podcast, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So it, it, so if it was soccer, um, what Premier League or Arsenal, like Man City? Like who who, who, who are we following? I was a uh, Barcelona fan, and that, that never changed. Oh, okay. All right. He, he, he likes winners, If in case you didn't know. Yeah, he I likes like winners. Winners. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's awesome. Oh. Um, listen, so, and, and see, now this picture's coming together because you're a soccer player. That's great feet, right? You had great feet coming into it, right? You're a tight end, right, for yeah. part of your career in high school. Great athleticism. You got good hands. You talked about the fumbles, turnovers. But you also have that mindset, right, of watching what defenses do. And so now you kind of understand defensive concepts. And you also understand offensive concepts, too, that yeah. I'm sure you use to your advantage when you're playing your position. Now, um, just do you miss the offensive side of the ball at all? Not at all. Not at all, because you know playing tight end, you know the most route is just going going for a dig or you running the hitch. Yeah, it is. And I don't want to get hit. I want to do the hitting. <laughs> you know, just going in as a big body, and you know these linebackers just crashing you down. Man, I want to do that instead of getting yeah. hit. So like, yeah, I, I don't miss the opposite side at all. Yeah. So I we're mean, not going to see in Coom uh-huh. in one of those special tight end packages where you, they line you up on offense. You're, uh-huh. you're not down for that this year. Uh, definitely. <laughs> what if they they can put you at fullback? Then you get to oh, hit somebody. Hey, there well, you I'm, go. I'm, I'm knocking them back. So just <laughs> get ready for it. Good attitude. Hey, um, so 
I keep banging the drum because every time I, you know, I hear you talking and I'm looking at everything that you bring to the table and I just keep thinking Ron Rivera, Ron Rivera, Ron Rivera. You met with the with the commanders. How did yeah. that conversation go? I don't need specific details or nothing like that, but was it a good conversation? What did you learn? It was pretty good. Well, we started off just getting to know each other first. And, you know, and they we started, you know, watching my film from last year and, you know, breaking down film, like what I did good and what I did wrong and what can I improve on. And also we talk about how I fit the scheme. You know how I can help the uh, commanders' defense out, so it went pretty good for the most part. That, that's what I would say. Right on, man. Was that was that Jeff Zagonia, the defensive line, or um, it was, was, it was, a, it was a lot of people on the table, man? Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> uh, let Let me ask you. Um, yeah, you had a uh, awesome, awesome uh, senior year. In particular, that Buffalo game was a uh, was a real good uh, game for you. I think it was like twelve tackles, two and a half yeah. long to sack. What what did you see on film that week that uh, allowed you to have a good game, or was it just one of those things? Oh, I'm feeling it today. I woke up, I felt good, and nobody was going to stop me that day. Like what what uh, what kind of went into uh, into that game? Oh uh, man, uh, I, I was thought about it. I, I have that feeling every game, every oh, practice. Yeah. You, you're not going to stop me. I don't. My mindset is I don't want nobody to have, you know, the bragging rights. Say, oh man, I stopped income today. I I, I don't, don't want to hear that. You know, I just want to, you know, I had a mindset of beating everything. But going into that game, I was just, it was a home game. We was losing, you know, so I was like, the team really, you know, you know, counted on me, to, you know, make something happen. And going in, I already watched film. So it's like the tackles and the guards are weak. You know, if you have a good get up, you beat them. And they, they tell you wherever they're going just from how they stand. So it's like they, they give you the answers to the test. Why not cheat? Yeah. So it was just, <laughs> I was just playing faster than how, I was playing faster than their own scheme. And I was just happened to be in the right position at the right time. Just. When you when you get thrown in a situation like you just gotta make a play. Now I you know I took everything into accountability and just trying to make everything I could. That's awesome. I, I love to hear that. Uh Eric, you wanna you wanna finish this up? Yeah, I was uh, wondering what you're gonna do for the draft. Are you having a draft party, Are you going somewhere, uh just chilling <laughs> at home, what's going on? Man, I'm Are we invited? Man, I'm just, you know, family time. Hopefully, you know, I hear my name called and just celebrate with the family. And after that, it was back to work, you know. Let, let's get back to work. Hey, um, what was the senior bowl like for you uh, when you were there? It was, it was really good. You know, just learning from different coaches staff and also learning from your peers. You know, he's good at this, he's good at that. I mean, I'm, I'm learning from I can add that to my toolbox and you know, polish it so I can be a better person and a better player. So it, just, it was a good learning experience. You, I had fun. You know, the different activities we had, you know, going to the hospital, talking with kids, you know, going on a parade. It, it was just fun. The whole week was just fun and a learning experience. So I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. It, speaking of that senior uh, senior bowl, did you see any of the commanders coaches down there? I think uh, Ryan Kerrigan, defensive line coach, was yeah, down. That, did, that, did that, you was that was my D line coach. Oh, right, what what'd you think of uh, Ryan Kerrigan? Pretty good, pretty good yeah. dude. He was he was a great player. So yeah, you know he knows what he's talking about, and I, you know I try to steal every every piece of knowledge he had. Yeah, uh, he's a he's a fan favorite uh, here in uh, in DC. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, you guys had any other questions? No. Yeah. Just, what what uh position did you play in soccer? I was a striker. Uh, I was a midfielder. I was a midfielder, and I was very light, so I could have played striker sometimes if they needed me. I was very light with it. He, he ran a lot, in other words. <laughs> <laughs> Midfield, yeah. yeah, yeah. You were light, huh? I was light. Love I hearing that. Light. A defensive end was light. <laughs> I mean, I still have the same condition of just running and yeah, you know yeah. not being tired, and I feel like that helped me a lot because I still carried myself the same way. Yeah, I'm telling you, you can't like with the way that soccer helps create good feet in sports is unreal. I think every kid should play yeah. soccer at a young age. <laughs> like you said, it, the, the, it, it does, helps. man. The, the athleticism <laughs> that it brings. Yeah, go ahead. I said it helps a lot. It helps a yeah, lot. For sure. Everything I keep reading about you is he's such a, you know, a good person, a good guy. You talked about the things you did at the senior bowl with uh, going to visit the kids and things like that. Is that something you want to continue when you get in the NFL and just sort of bringing that to your home NFL city when you get there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always about, it's always about giving, you know, giving back, you know, great, you know, being born from Ghana, I've seen a lot, I've been through a lot. So it's a little, any little advice I have, any little thing I can do to help somebody out, make somebody like better. Yeah, I'm down for it. I'm doing it. So it's That's just great, always man. giving back. Yeah, if you come to D.C., there's certainly a lot of opportunity to do that here. I, I Look, I can't say this enough. You are such a Ron Rivera type of guy. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, you know, so I could, if they call your name, whatever round it is, I would not be surprised one bit. I, mean, I Look, I don't work for the team, but I'm just saying just because yeah. of the whole profile, the athleticism, the turnovers, um, the motor, 
the good per Ron Rivera is such a big personality guy, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. And quality character. You'll hear him say it all the time. And that's the kind of person that he really seeks to bring his organization. He's done a good job of getting other folks that didn't fit that mold out and bringing more mm -hmm. guys like that in. Yeah. You're right in that mold, man. I think you could really help this team, help the locker room, help the city, period. So I hope you end up here in D.C. Uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you no know, frame. They, they, I get the call from them and let, let's work. Let's, let's win some trophies, man. For I'm, sure. I'm all about, you know, getting some, you know, some, some juries. <laughs> yeah. I need, I need we, haven't, we haven't seen that in a long time. We'd love you if you bring some of that here. I, yeah. I need, I need some things. You know, my, my first time in Vodasta, we won a state championship. We went to uh, first in Central. We won, uh, you know, the ball game. So it's like everywhere I go, it's, it's a winning tradition, man. I need the rings. So, yeah, yeah, bring that here, please. Please. <laughs> yeah, too we, long. We, we need it in the worst way. We've got some new owners coming, so we, all things are lining up. So that would be awesome uh, uh, for you to come here and to uh, to bring some of those uh, some of those trophies uh, as well, too. Yeah, and look, 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 you know Ron Bear pays defensive linemen. You see what he gave Deron Payne. Oh, yeah. Eighty yeah. million. You saw what he gave Jonathan Allen. He gave him like eighty million too. So come get your eighty million, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Thomas, this was awesome. We really appreciate you uh, coming you. on, and it's been awesome to hear you uh, talk about your game and, and what you want to do. And uh, we will be rooting for you. And if uh, you do happen to get called by the Commanders, we're going to call you and hopefully uh, you, you know celebrate with you and get you on uh, on the pod. But thank you so much much for uh for coming on and talking to us man thank you for having me appreciate you all right good luck we'll see you soon because i know you're coming to dc <laughs> all right let's do it appreciate you all right see you